Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days. So you could say it's like for the 21st through the 28th, something like that. Now keep in mind the timing is fluid. You can say seven days from the date that you watch it, okay? That's what, how it's really supposed to be. But the timing is also fluid, so, you know, it is what it is. Keep in mind that this reading may or may not be for you. It may not be for you, okay? So if there's something that triggers you and you feel the need to write something nasty down below, the reading isn't for you, okay? So what do we got for a message for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? But there's always disillusionment that people think that every single reading is for them, you know, so they get all pissed off when they don't like what they hear. But anyhow, it is what it is, and... Is, right? Hand in need of help, assistance, and guidance. So you may be needing a hand. Maybe you need a hand in some way. What do we got for Scorpio? What do we got for Scorpio? Obviously, you need a hand in something. What do we have for Scorpio? Maybe an increase, you may be seeing an increase of money, increase of abundance, or an increase of value. In the next seven days, an uptick of something, something of value. Ooh. Speeding causes accidents, so you're doing something, you need to slow down. Whatever it is, you could be speeding into a relationship. You could be speeding into your car. You could be speeding at your job. You know, and I'm not talking just behind the wheel. You could be doing something too fast and an accident happens. You need to slow down. You do need to slow down. <sighs> new sexual partner. So for some of you, you have a new sexual partner here. Won't be for everybody. All right. What do we got for Scorpio? What do we got for Scorpio? You need to slow down. You do. If you've been in need of help or assistance, I th you're probably going to get it. I think that you are. Oh, <gasps> Are you ready for this? This is going right after that next, next sexual partner. Are you ready? Deceit. There's some sort of deception. There's some sort of lies. You could be dealing with somebody that somebody else that has a new sexual partner. Somebody has a new sexual partner. And it's very interesting. On the bottom of this deck, we have the door to value. It is reversed. And I feel like this is about your value. You really need to consider your value at this time, okay? That's a very clear message. So you need to consider your value. There's lies, there's deception here. I don't know who you're dealing with. Whoever you're dealing with is very, very sneaky. Extremely sneaky. Could be you. If you're the cross watcher, it could be the Scorpio with this deceit card. Somebody, and, and it feels like there's something to do with money here. Uh, it's a demon, I feel like we have a demon. Um, what do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? Yin. Yin. Yin is the female. It's the feminine. It's a very feminine energy. Um, so maybe it's the feminine. I feel like it's somebody that is in their feminine energy. Um, and I don't believe that is in this book. Yep. The feminine principle of receptivity. I've been reading them all for everybody. So, letting someone else make the first move, gathering information and taking in cues, the art of conscious allowing. This is a time of calculated receptivity as you gracefully await what is coming for you. 
ready to accept it when it appears. Yin does not involve frozen dreams or even resting, okay? But rather consciously allowing things to flow to you, poised to receive the bounty that will be made available to you. It implies sensitivity as you alertly study the actions of others and contemplate how they will affect you and yours. Remember, you must make space for miracles to appear. Be the shaped, not the shaper, and you'll see how quickly your dreams manifest. That others take the lead right now. Your power lies in small gestures, <coughs> soft awareness, and conscious surrender. By yielding the reins, you will find yourself effortlessly moving closer to what you truly desire. Permit, permit others to tell you who they are and who they can be to you by allowing their actions to speak about them. You will be pleasantly surprised. I'm going to read a little bit more, okay? This is a time when the most effective action, action is to allow others to show you the way forward. Observe their behavior and follow their lead. You, your desire to push through must take a back seat. You gotta take a back seat for now. Collaborate and offer your ideas rather than dictate what must happen. Let others come to you. You need to let you need to let somebody come to you. You need to not push. Do not push anything during this time. I think that we will use this deck right here. What do we have for Scorpio? Increase of value. That's good. But you need to let somebody come to you. Don't push. Don't 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 try to force anything. There is, there could be even some self-deception here. What do we have for Scorpio? Two of Wands. Two of Wands. All is not as it seems. Whenever you get the moon in, moon in any card, there's some sort of illusion here. There is some sort of illusion. Um, there's two paths. There's, there's a decision that you need to make. Okay, do you stay where you're at? Do you stay or you go? What's, what's the choice? Okay, you need to make a choice during this time. I feel like this is about a partnership. Okay, that's what the two of wands is about partnership. It's about expanding yourself. Do you stay where you're at or do you step forward? So you're at a crossroads right now. Nine of pentacles reversed. You must take action. The nine of pentacles reversed is somebody that may not know their value, that lacks self-esteem or lack self-worth okay this is somebody that may needs to realize that you complete you they don't complete you you complete you this is like i don't want to be alone so somebody may be sacrificing and i don't need the hangman it's like i don't want to be alone all right so i feel like there's a need for discipline there's insecurities here you must take action and and remember your value remember your worth it's interesting that we have that increase of value you're at the you're at a time in your life where you have to make a choice what are you worth what are you worth what are you worth anyway do you know nine of pentacles would suggest that you probably don't okay um page of pentacles so page of pentacles is a new i not a new idea, a new path. It's a new door. It's a new prospect. It's a new endeavor, new enterprise. Could be a new job. It's a new prospect, okay? It's an opportunity to expand yourself and start down a path, okay? Setting new goals, focusing, refocusing, using common sense. This is a new investment, okay? You may have a new opportunity right here, but I feel like there's a need for you to have confidence and you need to make a choice. Do you want to stay stuck where you're at or do you want to move forward? The very first card is the two of wands. That is the choice, okay? You can step into the future or you can stay stagnant, right? You can you cannot know your value. What's it going to be? So you're in a position right now where you're, you have to make a choice. You obviously have a golden opportunity right here with the page of pentacles. This is something that you can invest in that can be end in some sort of long-term stability. It absolutely can because it has that page of pentacles is holding the ace of pentacles, which is something solid that can grow it can grow but it's going to take hard work and it's going to take commitment so you may have an opportunity for a new commitment but if you don't choose to go down that path then hey if you want to if you want to focus on your past that, that's your choice 
all right? Your past, I meant to say. Three of Wands, Three of Wands reversed. This is unprepared, okay? This is indecisive, disappointing, uh, impatient. You may, be, you, you, you may be really, 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 really focusing on the past. The past is the past. Maybe you're, maybe you're comparing somebody to, uh, maybe you have a new opportunity right here, right? And you're comparing them to somebody in the past. Stop doing that. Maybe you're waiting for the past to come back, you know, so you're not giving your all. Stop doing that, you know. Um, three of Wands reverse is lack of foresight, wasting time, missing an opportunity. You have an opportunity to step into a new future, okay? You do with the Two of Wands. You have an opportunity to step into unknown territory. But there's, a, there's insecurities with the Nine of Pentacles reverse. I feel like you have some sort of inner insecurities. And you may be thinking that somebody from your past completes you. Because the Two of Wands does, is about the past and so is the Three of Wands, okay? It's either you can focus on the future or you can focus on the past. What's it going to be? Ooh, Five of Swords reversed. So the five of swords reverse is you need to let go. Do you want to be happy? Do you want to be happy? Do you got something to prove? Do you got to do you got to prove something to the world or do you need to prove a belief or is there something that you need to prove? Okay? I feel like it's time. It's time for you to walk away from a situation. There's no need to fight. It feels like it feels like, uh, I don't know, if there's some sort of revenge here or wanting to prove something. I want to prove that I'm right. I want to prove, and it's because of insecurities. The Nine of Pentacles reverse is insecure. It's insecurities. I wanting to win at all costs. I got to prove. I got to, and that is proving. The Five of Swords is proving. I got to prove, and this is based on ego. You know, I got to prove that I didn't make a mistake. I got to prove that I'm right. I got to prove that I win. You know, that's ego. That's ego. So... Um, you have a new opportunity here that can lead to long-term stability, but you need to stop looking back. You need to focus on the future. You need to stop wasting your time. Um, I also feel like you are unprepared for something to be exposed because the Five of Swords reverse is, could be something that is being exposed. Wheel of Fortune, for, Wheel of Fortune upright, that's very positive. And fives are about change. So fortunate, you know, everything happens for a reason. This is good luck, luck is on your side. I mean, this is a positive change. This is the wheel spinning you. It's right underneath the page of pentacles. So this is the wheel really giving you an opportunity, something fortunate. You're being given an opportunity. It's, a, it's great, okay? It's, it's beautiful. It's, I mean, it's something that you can bring you fortune. It's a reward of some sort, right? This is positive change that is coming. But you have to choose. You have to choose. You have to be secure. You have to deal with your insecurities. You have to realize you must, you must find the discipline to step forward and not compare to the past, not look back on the past, go down this path, be committed to it, commit to the future, commit to the future. It feels like you've been pushing somebody away with that five of swords reverse. It's like, no, I can't, I can't. Yes, you can. Give your all. Give your all, please. So there's some sort of wheel that is spinning you down a new path. You may be, some of you, it could be a new job opportunity or a new relationship opportunity. It, it could be you starting a new business or starting something new on your own. I feel like you, there's a lot of insecurities that are holding you back. You're just biting, you're just not even biting time, you're wasting time. You're wasting time with the Three of Wands reverse. You're wasting time. Choose the future. Choose to put in effort. Choose to invest in the future, okay? Choose to invest in what you have now, okay? Don't waste it. Don't throw it away. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. Yeah, you're going to have to learn new things. Yeah, you're going to have to do things differently. But this is an opportunity that can grow into abundance and it can teach you skills that you need to learn during this time in your life.
I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very abusive. Whoever this person is that you've been dealing with is extremely abusive with the Five of Swords. This person is hostile. They threaten, you know, they say mean things. They're very volatile. You're dealing with a volatile individual who uh, doesn't care who they hurt. That's the person that you've been dealing with. And you have another solid opportunity here that is meant for you, okay? That's the Wheel of Fortune. This is something that can bring you prosperity, okay? It can, with the, with the Page of Pentacles next to the Wheel of Fortune, absolutely. It can bring you prosperity. It can bring you something solid. But you have to stop looking back. And I'm sorry that I have to keep saying that. For some of you, it's, it does have to do with the job, okay? You stop holding a grudge as well. It's like, I gotta prove something. I'm gonna fight, I'm gonna pick a fight. I gotta prove something. That's ego. And the Five of Swords reverse is, is it's time to let go of that ego. Do you, gotta, do you really have to prove something or do you wanna be happy? I mean, come on now. All that's doing is hurting yourself. You're, you're only hurting yourself by being revengeful and trying to prove a point, okay? You're only hurting yourself. Whoever you're dealing with, they don't care. They don't care. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your energy trying to, to fight with somebody. It's like I've got to prove myself. I've got to prove myself. You've got to prove yourself? How come? The only reason we ever have to prove ourselves is because of our ego. King of Wands in the future. So King of Wands is somebody who, I mean, look at that one. That's just like somebody coming to the rescue. Um, this is a boss or uh, a leader that is taking charge. Um, you may even be put in a, you may be taking charge. You may be taking charge. You may be um, taking action gathering information it, right something is happening very very suddenly you need to replace your fear you need to do something right now right now before it's too late you need to stop wasting your time time is of the essence what do you why 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 there's somebody here that needs you they need you they need you. They need your skills or they need something. They need, there's somebody here that needs you. Don't you want to be needed? I'm sorry. I know that that's not a, I mean, I'm not going to get into that right now. Being needed is not love, but we all want to be needed. I feel like there's somebody here that needs you. They need you to invest in them. They need you to give them a chance. But if you keep looking back at the past, if you keep looking back at the past, you're going to not have abundance with the Nine of Pentacles reversed. You're not going to have an increase in money or an increase in value. You're going you're gonna to waste your time. I feel like there's self-deception here. Seven of Wands reversed. No, seven of Wands reversed is admitting defeat, quitting, stepping down. It's time to give up your stance. It feels like you're holding on to something that you don't need to hold on to. It's time to walk away. You need to walk away. And you're dealing with an individual that it's highly competitive. You're dealing with a very highly competitive person. There's no reason to fight with this person. This is a fucking battle. I'm so sick of it. Why? Why? Yeah, because you, you got to prove something. That's the seven of that's the seven of wands as well. I got to I got to stay in this position. I got to I got to prove. I got to prove that I'm not giving up my position. But the seven of wands reverse is challenged. Okay, I feel like your your position has been challenged for some point for some time from so, for some time. And I feel like you've been holding on to this position for a long time, and it's time to step down. It's time to step down. Okay. Step down from this position. 
Okay, you have something better that is waiting for you. I feel like you are very skilled as well. It's like you guys, some of you could be your own boss. You could be your own, an entrepreneur, you know? I feel like you definitely have a new enterprise here that where you are in a leadership position, where you're in a, where, where you're in a, well, it's a leadership position. It is. It's where you're looked up to. It's where you're respected, but you have to stop. You have to stop. It's like you're holding on to something that makes you feel secure, whatever it is. When you have something else here, you do something that is better suited for you. I feel like there's some sort of aggression here as well. There could be a fight. There could be a fight. So I just want to I want to let you know about that with the 5 of swords reverse and the 7 of wands reverse and this king of wands. I mean, there could be some sort of uh fall from power. There could be a battle. This could be all out war. I'm just saying we may have somebody here that gets in a massive 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 fight with somebody. Um which changes their circumstances. I mean, the Seven of Wands reverse is like being taken out of a position. Somebody may be taken out of a position. They may be. They may be taken out of a position. It's meant to happen because the Wheel of Fortune is right in between the Five of Swords reverse and the Seven of Wands reverse. So this is destined change, of course. So something is happening that is meant to happen. There's protection here. So there is protection. You are going to be going down a new path. It may be against your will. This may be job related. Could also, it could be partnership related as well. A job is a partnership because the twos are partnerships. It's some sort of partnership. Somebody is going down a new path. They need to step forward with faith. Okay, You need to step forward with faith. You need to trust Four of Wands. There's going to be an upcoming get together, an upcoming celebration. Uh, whatever is happening, there could be a new commitment. There's a new commitment here. You are going to be committing to something new. You are. But you have to let go of your fear and you have to let go of the past. Nine of Wands on the bottom. Nine of Wands is wounded, right? Wounded and great personal fear. I feel like you have a wall up. You're expecting trouble at all times. Okay? You're always on guard. You're, you're, you, you don't trust. I feel like it's time to close. It's time to close that previous chapter. Nines are about closure. So I feel like I really feel like uh, I feel like you need to not look back. It feels like this person's running away from a situation. That's what it looks like to me. I don't care what the card means in the book. I really don't. I feel like we have somebody here that is running away. You need you need to. If somebody wants to run away, or if they did run away, let them go. I think you're going to be getting yourself into a new commitment, whether it's job or partnership. Good luck.